Hi there and welcome to this video where I will show you how you can add additional Python modules like TA libraries to your Fractrate Docker image. This is especially important information if you run script or strategies that use Python modules that are not part of the default Docker image of the Fractrate trading bot. In these cases, the code will stop with an error that it cannot find a module, and thus you cannot run the strategy. So, let me start with the beginning and make it a full instruction video on how to install a Docker-based Fractrate bot. And after the Docker installation is finished, show you the way you can install any additional modules to that image. In this instruction, I'm going to install Docker Community Edition in Linux Mint, which uses apt-based packages. Any other Linux distribution or Windows can have other instructions and commands. So please refer to the documentation for these platforms for the Docker installation. First I'm going to update the apt cache and then install some additional required software that makes it possible to safely download the packages from Docker. After this is done, I can add the docker keyring and repository gpg key for downloading the docker packages. Now I can check if the keyring is installed correctly. And if this is the result, then the keyring is installed correctly. Now update the apt index again with the docker packages. And after this is done, we can install the Docker software. With the following command, I can install the Docker packages, including Docker Compose. And if you see this here, you can see that this is installing correctly. Now that we have installed the packages, we can verify that the Docker engine is installed correctly by running the Docker Hello World image. Now it could be that the daemon is not running or you have other problems and uh, please refer to the documentation of Docker or your operating system for troubleshooting. But in my case you can see the response on the server, the Docker software is correctly installed and the package, the Hello World package can be executed correctly. Now we can proceed with the next step. It is inconvenient to run the Fractrate Docker image with root privileges every time. So to solve this, we can add the current user to a Docker group which has enough rights to run Docker containers without having to use sudo. To do this, execute the following commands to add the current user to the Docker group. Now run hello world again, but without the sudo part. And if it works, uh, then we can proceed with the next step and this is to go to some of the docker container and image maintenance instructions. To check all the running docker containers that are in use, execute the next command. And if you don't see any output, then use this command, because then you can see all containers, including the stopped ones. To check the docker images that are downloaded and take up space on your system, use docker images. Now, to remove a container that is not in use and stopped, use the following command. And you can use the uh, four digits uh, of the container here at the start, which is enough to identify which container to remove here. Now, before removing any images, the corresponding container should be stopped and removed first. And after that, we can remove the unused image and free up disk space again. Here 
Here we can use the container name or the container ID. Now that we have installed Docker and Docker Compose, have checked if it works and know a little bit about container and image management, it is time to finally install the Fractrate Docker image. Let's first create a directory that will contain the Docker Compose file and all the Fractrate data. And after this is done, it is time to download the Fractrate Docker Compose file into this directory. This file will be used by Docker to download the correct image and that has all the configurations for a correctly working bot. Now that we have this file, we can download the uh, actual Fractrate Docker image to our system. And be aware that by default, this will download the bot's most current Docker image. And with the docker images command, we can check the downloaded image. And this is the moment where we can really do business and create the user directory that the bot will use for all its configurations, strategies, data, logs, and other files. And we get a hint here on which bot version is downloaded. By the way, uh, if you watched closely, I used the dash dash rm switch that will remove the container after that it's been run. Otherwise Docker will create a container each time you will run a Docker command and this can easily build up uh, to many unused containers on your system. The next thing to do is to create a new configuration file with the new config subcommand. And this config will contain all the information about uh, which exchange to use, the amount of money to use for each trade, which pairs to trade and much more. And after the config has been created, we have to edit the config file a little bit so that it contains at least uh, one or more pairs for downloading data. The bot cannot backtest without at least having uh, data of some pairs. So I will use Bitcoin, HBAR and Gala in this configuration. And I will also change the volume pair list to be a static pair list. Because backtesting cannot be done with the volume pair list configured. And uh, this is optional, I will raise the heartbeat interval to 2 seconds, so you get uh, more and quicker output to the screen. Now we are going to test out if the bot can actually download data from the exchange by using the following command to download backtest data. Again, the RM switch will remove the container after completion, otherwise you'll end up with many closed containers. And if you see the following appear on your screen, then you are good to go. After the data is downloaded, we can check if it exists in the following directory. And now it is time to do our first backtest with the bot and the default strategy that was installed when we created the user directory.
and here you can see the results of the backtest. Now we know that the bot can download data and do a backtest with a strategy that is located in the strategy folder. Let's now do a quick demonstration where we run the bot in dry run mode, which means that it does paper trading with a selected strategy and config settings. But before we start the bot in dry run mode with Docker, we first have to check the compose file in the FT user data directory. We do not want to accidentally trade with live money. So this is more of a hygiene check in this specific case, because I did not set the exchange settings like the API key and secret, but it's good practice anyways to always check this. First check which config the bot will use when starting the Docker container. You can specify the configuration, strategy and other frag trade command line parameters under the command section here. Here it states that the config.json file in the user data directory is used, uh, and that is correct because we just created and configured that file. And if we open that file, it seems that the dry run option is set to true, and that there is no key or secret set, so it seems that we are safe here. And to actually start dry run trading with a frag trade bot in daemon mode, just use the following command. The D switch causes docker to run the container in the background, hence the daemon mode. This command will automatically read the compose file in the directory with the commands and other parameters set. This is the reason why it is important to not change the file name of the docker compose file here. Now to see if frag trade is running, use the next commands. Uh, we can use uh, docker ps to see the docker processes running and we can also see the docker container logs and finally we can check the fractrate log with this command and it looks like the bot is working, so uh, that's great. So now we are ready for the next phase of this video. And that is to add additional Python modules to this Docker image, so that it can also run strategies that depend on packages that were not installed by default in the image. To stop the container with the running FragTrade bot, we first have to get the container ID. And once figured out, uh, use it in the command to stop the bot. You do not have to specify the complete container ID, the first 4 or 5 characters will do as well. And we can then check if the instance is stopped. Sometimes a strategy requires additional libraries like Finta or TA. These are not installed by default in the FragTrade Docker image. And to demonstrate what happens if these modules are not available but you want to run a strategy that requires these modules, I will download uh, one of these strategies first. And in this case, I know that the Godstra strategy uh, requires the TA library. So let me download this one. And to get a first glimpse of the unavailable module, let's do a list strategies command to see which strategies we have available. And you can see here in this example that the Godstra strategy has a status of load failed. And the lock also gives a warning that Godstra cannot be loaded because of a missing TA module. We can also do a backtest with this strategy and the original Docker container. But as you can see, it exits with the error that it cannot find the TA module. And of course you cannot uh, run this strategy in dry run or a live trading mode here because uh, the module is not existing. Now if you think that installing this library on the host system with the pip install TA should solve this problem, then you are wrong. Since the docker container is an isolated environment and it does not use its host system resources or modules. The only solution here is to install the module within the docker image and then run the container with that newly installed module. And luckily for us, this is simpler than you think. But before I show you the solution, I first like to thank you for watching. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then please leave a message below and I'll see what I can do.
Also, do not forget to like, subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon, so you do not miss out on any future videos. To install additional modules in your image, do the following. First, we are going to modify the docker compose file so that it creates a custom image and uses an additional file which I call docker file custom. I will first make a backup of my docker compose file like this and then I will add the docker compose file and again I will call the new docker image fractrate custom and point to a file called docker file custom. Now of course you can determine yourself which names to use here, but uh, I will leave them default for the sake of this demonstration. And I will also remove all the other lines that are commented out to make the file clear and understandable. After this I will save the file. And now it is time to create the dockerfile.custom and the reason why I use uh, the dot slash here is that I prefer to keep the docker compose file and all customizations in the same location, which is easier for me to manage. Now that custom file will contain the following lines. The first line tells docker where to get the original docker image and the second line is used to install additional modules in that image. I will install two additional Python modules here that are often used with other trading strategies and that are not installed by default. Now that the files are ready to use, let's use the following command to create a new custom docker image. And if you watched closely, you could see that during the build these modules were installed additionally. We can now check the existence of our own custom image with docker images. And after this all is done, we can now try to use the list strategies command again to see if the strategy will now be accepted, since the TA library is also installed in the image. And behold, no error anymore. The FragTrade custom container is used with the additional modules and FragTrade can find these to run and check the strategy. Now we can also run a backtest again which will not error out on us anymore. And as you can see, backtesting the strategy works as well here. Now let me try some dry run trading. And you see this also works. And with this result we are at the end of this video. I hope this was informative and you are now able to run strategies that require more exotic not by default installed python modules in the docker container. I will leave all the examples configuration files on my patreon site and I will also make a blog post about this explanation over there so that everybody can read this on their own time. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.